Hello. This has been a few days coming, but here we go. Um, this is the last of my gems. Um, if you can call it a gem, it's kind of a gem. It's kind of not a gem. So, what am I talking about? Well, it's a custom build that I acquired reasonably recently. Uh, I just couldn't resist it. Uh, you can see, you'll see why when I open this lovely Hiscox Light Flight case. Now these were the these were the business man when I was uh, a teenager, uh, maybe in my early twenties. Um, the Hiscox Light Flight was just the one. So here we are. Here we have a Sims custom mirror gem. Now, look at that. Okay, so what is it? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't know that much about Sims other than that, you know, they became very, um, they became well known for the uh, LEDs, I believe, that they would install in, uh, in Nex. Um, Steve Vai, had his uh, um, mirror gems fitted with the LEDs, I think, from Sims. Uh, but I think the first person I ever saw to have those was probably Mark King from uh, Level 42 on his uh, King base or whatever the base was that he had to those uh, LEDs. So as you can see, it's a mirror gem uh, body. Um, however, whereas the rock mirror is a black body this is a white body um, and we have obviously the fluoro green stuff here so we've got gravity storm Demasios here um, obviously standard top hat knobs five-way switch mirror uh, pick guard this is probably from a DBK or something like that we have a black um, low pro edge um, something of a minor mystery with this low pro edge as well in that um, until I got this guitar uh, I didn't know that you could buy uh, these bridges uh, without the license from buying look like the finger <laughs> giant finger uh, you could buy them without the license from uh, Floyd Rose patents or whatever it is so, uh, the, that's usually emblazoned across the bottom here um, which you can now I didn't know that but uh, there we are so it's a low pro edge we have the lion's claw monkey grip and we have a mirror front now this is I think probably a similar uh, adhesion process as the rock mirror it's probably some kind of um, vinyl or some kind of wrap you know some kind of thing that sticks to the front uh, i'm not sure um, it's nicely done and uh, there's no real uh, areas where it doesn't look uh, very good or anything like that it uh, looks pretty cool um, the difference mainly between this and the rock mirror in terms of how it's uh, applied or at least how it how it looks is and finishes that there's no binding on this one, uh, so it's literally just a sort of perfect edge, whereas the uh, the BRMR obviously has the binding all the way around. Um, the neck is obviously not a gem neck; it's an RG shark tooth inlay neck. It's actually a Wizard Three. Um, the Wizard Three is not my favourite neck, and I think. If you've seen the um, um, video that I did on the video tour of the DBK, you, uh, you'll probably know why. Um, the Wizard 3 is a little chunkier. It also has a slightly curvier radius. When I say curvier, it's like 15 and 3 quarters rather than 17. Um, it's still pretty flat. It's a, still a sh shreddy type guitar. It's not, it's not a... It's not like it's a seven and a quarter Fender or anything, but but it is a little bit rounder than 
the standard wizard type of stuff or even the gem standard gem necks um yeah now this is a very polarizing guitar it, it seems in my life uh when i um first acquired it um the seller was based in uh, kent i believe i think and uh uh and uh, i <laughs> I asked uh, if a friend who lived down there would pick it up for me, um, Griff, who is uh, uh, doing uh, the signatures uh, sound. And um, he very kindly agreed to go and uh, go and pick it up for me. <laughs> and Griff is a sort of, uh, you know, he's a Strat guy, I think, uh, you know, he's sort of, and he said, <laughs> and, I, and obviously he had a little once over on the guitar and made sure it was okay and everything. Um, and, uh, he, uh, he was like, this is, this is, man, this is like, this is just the grossest guitar I've ever seen. <laughs> and when I, uh, he brought it to uh, a gig that we had in, um, God knows, I don't know where we were, can't even remember where we were. This is the sort of thing about being in a band where you're all over the place. He's like, I can't even remember where we were, but he brought it. And, um, <laughs> and I, uh, opened the case and showed everyone and, uh, <clears throat> and Gav, uh, our drummer, was like, um, yeah, like, like, please don't play, <laughs> please don't play that guitar on stage with us. And I was like, what? What's the problem? I, I, like, I, I don't, I just don't quite understand what the, uh, what the, uh, the, the reaction was all about, really. I mean, considering I play the Rock Mirror on, on stage all the time, and this is kind of, what? Okay, so it's got green fluoro uh, pickups and knobs and stuff, so... Is that so terrible? Apparently it is. But anyway, it was really funny because I think, um, you know, whenever I post pictures of this guitar, um, you know, I get an equal sort of amount of it's a, uh, of uh, negative and positive reactions to it. Um, especially the, uh, I guess, the it's the green that uh, some people react to. Now, for me, I love all the fluoro stuff. I mean, one of the things that I loved about the original... Um, 777 gems um and the original root beer the 7 rb root beer was that you had a generally more um sober suited guitar especially with the root beer and the say like the black vbk you know the black vbk was you know it's a black guitar it had a rosewood neck um it was quite understated in terms of it wasn't you know violently pink or violently yellow or any of those kind of colors but it did have, you know, green pickups and a green tree of life um, inlay and green knobs and switch tip. Um, you know, and I, I always liked that kind of, I always liked that sort of um, pathway through this stuff. You know, the, the, like the the the, uh, the super gaudy um, pink, the SKs and the um, VSKs and the desert yellows and all that. Those ones didn't appeal so much. I always like the slightly sober, more sober ones. Now this one, obviously it's a mirror, so it's kind of, it's uh, it, it, it's a matter of opinion of whether it's a sober suited guitar with green pickups or whether, or you know, it's not really. Um, but it's nicely done. So we have a typical uh, all access neck on the back, uh, no cavity covers. Um, we've got a little Sims badge there, Sims paint. Uh, the paint itself is a, is a sort of uh, matte. Um, it's not a gloss. It's very sort of uh, flat and it's quite nice actually, but although it's, uh, it seems like it could do with a little, you know, I don't know, perhaps it, you, know, you could, fin you could um, give it a gloss coat at some point maybe, but I don't think I, I probably won't. Um, the body is, it's okay, it's all right, it's typical, I've had a few of these in the past in terms of, I had a few self-builds uh, back in the day, and there's obviously a, a real cottage industry for uh, producing gem uh, bodies, um, or taking an RG body and then doing the routings 
to make it a gem. This That was also a very popular uh, thing to do. The other thing that was extremely popular back in the day was was to have a universe uh, body and uh, and then cut the gem routings in it because that wasn't a thing um, until the 7-string seven 7V seven came out a few years ago. Um, you just didn't have the... Yeah, that was almost the holy grail because the UV, the original UV that Steve Vai um, had, the multicolour on the on the album cover of Passion and Warfare, that did have a monkey grip. Um, I'll put a link actually in the description to a very interesting video that um, Thomas McRocklin uh, posted a while back, um, as he was the uh, he was the kid who was pictured with Vi a lot in a lot of these um, advertisings um, as the sort of mini me Vi. Um, and he was in the video for audiences listening and, and whatever else. And uh, now Steve Vai gifted him that uh, that original seven string prototype multicolor, which had a monkey grip. And then they subsequently decided to omit the monkey grip from the uh, universe um, recipe. You know, and so the the, uh, the the production models didn't have it. And on the album cover, they airbrushed it out. So they, they basically removed it. Um, but the actual guitar has one, and Thomas McCrocklin still has that guitar. And he posted a video um, fairly recently uh, talking about it and showing you it now, which is quite interesting, very interesting, in fact. And um, it's in lovely shape. It's faded a lot. It, it's weird. I think, I think some of the comments I saw on his video... Um, you know, was uh, almost of the ilk of, you know, that's not them, that's not the one, it's not the right colour kind of thing. Um, but it is the right one. If you look at the uh, the swirl patterns on it and compare, you think, yeah, yeah, it's, it absolutely is. And of course, his um, his provenance and connection with Vi is unassailable. So there we are. Um, yes, but back to this one. So it's a Wizard 3. I'm not a fan of the Wizard 3 particularly. I think I would like to change that eventually um although you know obtaining um kosher uh gem necks is not always the easiest thing to do and not certainly not an affordable thing to do um i would put uh probably a i don't know i actually i would what i would like on there is probably a um like a vine neck or possibly even um the uh, the wizard uh, DBK neck or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, certainly not the wizard three. Um, nothing against it. It's it's a nice neck. It's nicely made. This is um, finished beautifully. It's bound. It's shark tooth. It's good. You know, people love these necks, but um, I'm not I'm not that um, into it myself. I can feel just the difference. It's a, it's a little bit just a little bit too chunky for me. But the guitar is great. The gravity storms. Yeah, cool. Um, I haven't really used the guitar in anger uh, in terms of uh, I've never played it on stage. Um, I d it wasn't that long before uh, lockdown happened that uh, that I acquired it. Um, it was a, almost a sort of a, an impulse buy in a way because I just uh, saw it on uh, on Facebook Marketplace. I think it was a guy just was selling it and. Um, I thought, yeah, wow, okay, I don't see stuff like that come up every day. Um, and uh, so I grabbed it. Um, but that's it, really. There's not much more to tell. It's uh, it's a nice thing. And, and, and I think in terms of the sort of, um, the sort of money that you can expect to pay for something like this is... Very, 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 very reasonable um, considering what you would have to pay for, you know, uh, an actual rock mirror, let's say. Here we have uh, both of them together, the rock mirror and the Sims mirror. Now, they're, uh, they're not too dissimilar in you know, some ways. Obviously, the... Uh, the the gem, the Ibanez, the rock mirror is a bound body. The uh, Sims is not. Um, the Sims is actually half a pound heavier. This is an even eight pounds, and this is seven five. Um, 
you know, there's a big difference in value of these two guitars, that's for sure. Um, which kind of highlights a bit of a problem with the old self builds because, you know, the only thing that this has that this doesn't is that it was uh, built this way in the factory or other than the little cosmetic um, modifications. But, you know, this is a factory built guitar and this is not. Um, and yet, well, the difference in value is enormous. It kind of does, it does uh, highlight the idea that, you know, it's not always worth it building your dream guitar unless you really are going to just keep it and never sell it and it doesn't matter how much you spend on it because, you know, right there is an edge, low pro edge. It's a very new one, as you can see, because it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have the licensed by um, Floyd Rose patents or whatever on there, which they don't have to have anymore. Um, those are two hundred and fifty odd quid, maybe two forty for the black uh, finishes. I think is the cheapest finish, most affordable finish, the black. So this is a two hundred you know thirty, two hundred and forty quid thing there. Dimasio Gravity Storm pickup set. I mean, how much are those? That's a lot of money right there. Two two buckers and a single coil. You know, that's gotta be, with the bridge, that's gotta be 500 quid, isn't it? Surely, oh, around about there. And, um, and then you add everything else. The neck, how much does a Wizard 3 neck, if, if you go and buy that on eBay or something, how much is that gonna cost you? 100 quid, 150? All in all, the uh, components here are yeah, maybe a thousand odd quid. Now, well, I mean, you'll just you'll never get that selling it. I mean, I didn't pay anything like that for the, this guitar. You know, nowhere near, less than half, much less than half. Whereas one of these, well, you know, because it is what it is and it's the real deal, um, you know, you may be looking at two or three thousand quid for one of these. So, there you go, folks. Be sure about what you do when you build these things. But there we are. That's it. It's my little Marmite guitar. Lots of people hate it. <laughs> Lots of people love it. Uh, it's a great playing guitar. It sounds great. Um, the, uh... Like I said, it's just just the neck is not my super cup of tea, not my not my favourite. Um, it's that fifteen and three quarter radius, and the slightly chunkier dimensions on the back. It's not chunky by any stretch of the imagination. It's a thin neck, but it's it's noticeably more uh, substantial than the gems or DBKs. But there we are. This is this RG series. It's a Wizard Three. Um, there we are, there it is, the Sims Custom Mirror Gem. Uh, yeah, nice one. Okay, guys, so uh, that's it for this, for the gems for me. Actually, no, it's not. I've got one more that I will do a, a tour on. Um, it's not in my possession. It's a, one of my old guitars that I sold uh, many, many years ago to my best friend, Chris, who still has it and takes care of it. Um, so I will be, as soon as it is possible to do so, I will uh, borrow that from him and uh, run you through the tour on that one. It's an original first run 94 Gem 555. Uh, very interesting guitars, those. Um, much maligned and misunderstood, I think, but, um, but definitely worth a look. Look at that beautiful bridge. <laughs> okay, here we go. Closing the case now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Frank and Jim. Pop. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like, hit subscribe, ring the bell, blah-de-blah, -blah, all that good stuff. And uh, 
yeah share the video try and get some uh get a few more subscribers a few more likes i would like that that would be good views you know that sort of thing awesome okay guys uh if i don't post another video before christmas which i'm sure i will but if i don't have a great christmas have a safe christmas and uh be good